This is a story of comfort versus creativity. A story of confrontations, of ups and downs, a story where creativity is the hero and comfort is the villain and we really want creativity to win and run our life. Join us! Hello! Welcome to Chrissy Me channel dedicated to beautifying life and creativity. Let's have a creative chat today. We generally like to look over the issues and the things in general from a bigger picture by finding within them a story, a relationship. So today we are going to discuss about a story of creativity and comfort which is a main story and it's essential for developing your life for achieving big stuff and for creating the life of your own liking on one hand there is creativity ever thought about your creativity we consider creativity to be a super food this food we use every day to have a healthy life to keep our mind body and emotions healthy so what is creativity for you ever thought about your own creativity and how this works for you take a minute and think about it if you haven't done it so far and then leave down in the comment section your impression and your conclusions about it because we are really curious to know what they are we usually ask people we meet and friends how do they feel their creativity how do they consider this about themselves and to our surprise a lot of people think that creativity is actually something reserved for few people that work in professions which are connected most with creativity like artists and inventors and a lot of people consider that creativity is something that they left behind in their childhood well this is extremely extremely wrong and so sad because the good news you have creativity in all moments of your life creativity just waits to be taken into account and for you to be responsible for it and to use it for your own liking and at the same time in this story we have the villain which opposes your creativity and that is comfort comfort never really inspire people to be creative and if you really think about it you'll see that the biggest inventions the biggest creations were made from a point of slight or bigger discomfort this discomfort was the fuel was the drive to go further to find new solutions to make a change and change is the key here and of course this discomfort was always pressuring the creators to find new solutions for a bigger comfort yes for the comfort but anyway creativity came in this all context never ever think that you are not a creative person creativity is inside you it's in your ideas everything starts with the ideas and they are the seeds of creativity why because even if you don't pay attention to them ideas will run in your head ideas will always come the only problem is that you don't pay them attention everything that your ideas need in order to grow is to give them your attention and your entire focus that's nothing else just like in plants you have to give them water because the sun is already there but the ideas in order to multiply you have to turn your attention from what is already comfortable and from the direction your mind already works with and put it somewhere else and here this is a real fight a first fight you have to give with this villain comfort actually is not that bad right i know but the problem is that comfort is your autopilot your life goes in a preset mood in a very ordered way and this is a force that keeps you in the same place in exchange creativity is the force 
that brings change, that moves forward. And if you're paying attention to your own life, you'll see how many elements you have that you don't even consider every day. You just let them be because this is the way things are. And this is a trap where comfort wins because everything in yourself will scream for this comfort. And if you want to create something new, well, you will have to put on this fight. And yes, it's a fight at every corner, but there is one more fight between creativity and comfort that really sucks. That fight is when you are being creative and you create today and tomorrow and a lot of time and for a while there's no feedback. Yes, it's absolutely horrible and this will be a setback for you if you don't put in even more efforts. In this moment when you don't receive feedback and this is normal, sometimes for a longer periods of time, sometimes shorter, but anyways, in this moment, the villain comfort will gain a lot of terrain and will seem like it wins this battle. Just like in all good stories, the main hero will be helped by some trustworthy friends. And in this case, we have the will, the ambition, the strength and the promise you made to yourself. Sometimes there will be helpful inspirational stories and individuals and also your own stories of success. So for us at Chrissy Me, in order to have more help, we envision this story between creativity and comfort, just like drawing, something beautiful. We have a piece of paper, a white sheet, and we have the idea, the general idea of creating something beautiful. If we take the first step and we fight comfort, we will begin to uh, discover more ideas about what exactly to draw. If we don't do this step and don't win the battle with uh, comfort, the page will remain blank. Nothing and maybe in time the material will fade away a bit. But if we go further, drawing means putting some lines on this paper. And at the beginning you will start with one line, which in itself means nothing. But the action of drawing that line maybe will give you some more force to put the next line. And you put a lot of lines, you make some scratchings, and at the beginning there is a mess, a big mess, which by no means looks like the beauty that you desire. And here is another battle with comfort. You have to go over that, and after a while, you will discover that on your page, after all those lines, there is a beautiful sketch. And you could say, wow, I really created something wonderful and that's it for me. But at the same time, maybe you would like to start a new battle. And in this case, you will add some details on the same page on your sketch. You add one detail and then another one and another one. And again, you will see that your beautiful sketch is no more. Now it's another mess and maybe you will be crying that you destroy something beautiful and nothing else appears but you have to continue and again fight the comfort and after a while nobody knows how long but you have to take this risk you will see again Ta-da! A beautiful drawing, which is even more wonderful than the one you had before in the simple shape of the sketch. And this is in the case of everything that you want to create. All these battles, maybe you will continue to do more, maybe you'll remain at that level. The idea is to fight a battle and this is helpful for us because when we envision things like this, we realize that all the obstacles are just some fears and we have to continue 
fighting comfort. But you will see that the story we are telling today is not as simple as good versus evil. When you decide to become creative with your own life and you will give the change in your life a precise direction, you will have to become also a person who keeps the balance between comfort and creativity because it's not all just fight. Sometimes, and you have to feel these moments, you simply have to let comfort win. And some other times you have to push creativity harder. And all of this you have to do continuously and it's never the same amount of comfort and creativity. You always have to balance them and uh, never too much of discomfort is good for you. If you are in extreme discomfort, you will never be creative. You will never have good ideas and you will never want to act to create something greater if your only preoccupation is to survive. At the same time, too much creativity is still too much. For example, if creativity becomes a custom and a habit, it will somehow look like a comfort and then you have to take a break from creativity. If you want to learn how to take a break from creativity without harming the creativity itself and keeping the right amount, well, go and check our video titled A Break from Creativity for Situations. You find the link here upstairs. Upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> the action taking part will never end if you really want to be creative. So you will have to find out which is your real flow. I mean, maybe uh, confronting a big discomfort all at once is not exactly the best thing to do. And a lot of people don't do that. Sometimes it's better to take small discomforts one by one and then to realize that you really created a lot of things and this is actually how a lot of the big creators do. There is this misconception generally and especially in artistic circles that you cannot reach this creative balance and creative flow especially if you want to be extremely creative. Uh, if you don't take some substances, usually alcohol and other drugs. And this is completely bullshit because scientifically it's proven that the only substances you need is dopamine and serotonin hormones which you produce. And uh, the others, well, maybe they respond to certain internal issues and needs, but they are not our concern and not our story today. Regarding that, just this morning I read an article about the famous painter Picasso. In his uh, younger years he was uh, consuming opium, which was uh, very cool and fashionable in Paris at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, especially in the bohemian artistic circles. And uh, at that time he wasn't very productive, he was at the end of his blue period of creation and he was quite depressed because a friend uh, has committed suicide. So he was having these parties and nights of opium. But after a couple of years Picasso completely stopped from taking opium or any other drugs for his entire life. This was because after one uh, opium party, one of his friends in the artistic circle, a German painter, has committed suicide due to a psychotic crisis. And Picasso was the one who discovered his body leaning over a ceiling beam. And um, in this drama, in this extreme shock, Picasso realized that he didn't want to waste his talent and realized that creativity was only inside of him. So from that moment on, he only concentrated towards his work. And we all know how prolific he was and how many paintings and other works of art he created. 
So don't you ever forget that everything that you need for creativity is already right inside you. You just need to make a decision and to constantly confront yourself with your own comfort. Well, this is at least our story and I'm waiting to see what your story is with uh, comfort and creativity or any other new ideas that you have on this subject. Leave your comment below and we will continue this chat. I hope you found this video useful and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to Chrissy Me and activate the notification bell. For all of you out there, thank you for watching us and send you many kisses and always remember to beautify your life and your soul. Bye. And, uh, 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 uh. well, you will understand. <laughs>